Hello, Becky here. I'm going to show you today how you can take either an overpayment or a prepayment, which are the same thing as far as Truckwin's concerned, and take those invoices that you've already set up in accounts receivable and actually apply them to either an invoice or invoices inside accounts receivable. Now this is done through adjustments, several adjustments, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Like I said, this is assuming that you have already either entered the overpayment via an overpay on a cash receipt, or you went into accounts receivable and you entered in a prepayment. So we're going to go ahead and go into accounts receivable. And I'm going to go ahead and go to apply cash receipts. I'm going to choose the customer that I have this overpayment sitting at. And I created one under Walmart, so that's where I'm going to go. So when the invoices come up on the screen here, you're going to see this line right here says overpayment $1,200. So that was a prepayment that I had went in and applied, meaning I have not invoiced yet the invoices that that's going to cover. Or it's possible on a previous invoice, if the client overpaid, and they said, oh, just keep that for a later date, then it would have created an overpayment for that amount. And so that it's on my books, and I need to know how to use it. So that's where we're at right now. So I have a $1,200 overpayment, and like I said, it's going to be adjustments. So I'm going to do my first adjustment for to adjustment only. And I'm going to choose the invoice I want to adjust and that's going to be the overpayment. And you can see in the lower portion of my screen here, it says remaining balance, negative 1200. I am trying to get that to zero because I want to adjust it out. So my adjustment amount, I'm going to type in negative 1200. And a description is optional. I'm just going to go ahead and type one. So if I am looking at this in the future, I remember what I was doing here. So I just put applying to invoices. Now the adjustment account is going to be your default accounts receivable account. The first part is always 000. And the account, if you're using the default chart of accounts from Truckwin, is 01210. If you have set your own chart of accounts up, you will want to make sure you put your default accounts receivable account in here. So if I double click here, if you're not sure, It'll bring up your chart of accounts. And if I scroll to 1210, I can see it says build accounts receivable. So I know that's the right account. So I'm going to hit select. And I'm going to hit accept. OK. When I hit accept, you'll notice that it took this overpayment line, it put in my adjustment, and it gave my remaining balance zero. So now I've adjusted that $1,200 into my accounts receivable and now I can go ahead and choose to apply it to any invoices that I want. And I've got $1,200 to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and have it go towards these three invoices. So the first thing I want to do is come down and in my invoice drop down choose an invoice I want to apply it to. And so I chose 0001, which was for $500. So I want to apply $500 of that. And I'll just put description from overpayment. Again, I'm going to use my default accounts receivable account because I am just moving this information around inside accounts receivable. I've already hit my bank account when I made the first posting. So I'm going to hit accept on that one. And you'll see that it marked that one cleared. Next, I'm going to do the next invoice I want to apply that to. And it looks like that one is for, let's see, 002, $600. So I'm going to adjust that one for $600. Again use my accounts receivable account. I'm going to hit accept. 
And now I've zeroed that one out. And I'll do my last one here. And that one's for $100, so I will do $100. And again, default accounts receivable account, and I hit accept. So now that I'm done with that, I can go ahead and hit save because I'm done on here. And it's just asking if I want to add additional cash receipts. I'll say no. Do you want to proceed to the posting screen? I'll say yes. And you're going to see what we just entered in here. Notice the deposit total says zero because we already deposited this money into our account when we booked either the overpayment or the prepayment. So that is correct. We don't want an actual deposit total. We just need to get these applied within accounts receivable. So you'll see that we adjusted our overpayment and then I applied it to these three payments. So then I would just hit begin posting now and I've gone ahead and posted that. And so what you could do, now in my example, I went ahead and I adjusted out the entire amount of that overpayment. So let's say you had an overpayment for $5,000 and you only wanted to use $1,500 of that. You could do that very first adjustment to the overpayment for just $1,500 for whatever amount you wanted to use towards those other invoices because then the remaining amount would still be sitting on that overpayment so you'd visually be able to see how much of that overpayment that you have left. So in summary, in order to use up an overpayment or a prepayment, you're gonna want to do adjustments. The first adjustment will be towards the overpayment invoice number for the full amount or however much you want to use and then the second adjustment would be towards the invoice you want to apply it to. There could be a third or fourth adjustment if you wanted to do more invoices. In my example, I applied it to three separate invoices instead of just one. Thank you.